So, um, hi guys, this is Momo Hime Junko. This is actually a guide on how to actually patch your Fantasy, Fantasy Star Online 2. Especially if you actually um, already patched it with the unofficial English patches. So, first step is to actually um, look for your PSO2 Twigger. Let's open that. And the thing that we're going to actually re um, restore the backups with will be um, for the English story patch. So that is necessary. So once all those are done, just click the orb, this, this one, the one I'm pointing at. Um, click restore backups as you can actually see it and click English story patch. So this prompt will actually show up in your window screen and just click yes. It will actually restore the backups. Okay, so the backup has been restored. Also, no, um, don't forget this, especially if you actually change something regarding the Twix of the program, its original purpose. Um, make sure you do this. For me, this is the things that I've actually Twicked. I removed the sensor sensor patch, and I swapped the PC to by the opening. So I did that. Okay, so all are done. Close that. So you refresh. Start. Now, for me, I actually use Generx Mod Installer, but in case, just in case, if you actually um, patch your English patch, main files, and large files with PSO2 Twigger, just do the same. But for instance, for me, just to show you, I actually do this. Just click this thing to disable all mods. Just click yes, so it will actually restore all backups. So, just do the same thing for just like I did on the English store patch. Just restore the backups for this and this if you actually installed English patch and English large files patch. Just do those. Okay, so everything right now has been restored. So all we got to do is launch PSO2 star online. The official launcher. Okay, uh, um, of course, um, for me, I've already patched it, but just to show you, um, this should be the first thing that will show up on your computer. If there is an or a new patch available. Just uh, for a wait a bit. Okay, so that's what, that's the thing that will get show up. It's going to check the files up to 19,000 plus, and it will download new files. Let me just cancel that. I don't want to go through those checkings again. <laughs> okay, so once it's actually done, again, um, run PSO2 Twigger, um, and this, just bash it again, okay, and then run PSO2 Twigger or this thing will actually show up if there's a new updates available this thing so you just check um, click that yes and it will check the files running from here and let it patch. That's another solution. But for me, I actually trust um, the official launcher f for the vanilla files update because it actually checks not just the patches available, but it also checks some files that has been actually corrupted during the process of large updates. So better trust the official launcher much more than the PSO2 trigger and 
that's just my opinion, okay? So let me just click no. Okay, so install English Star Patch. Let it just do that. Okay, so this thing will show up again. And we'll wait for it to be done. Okay, so that's just about it. And you're good to go. So if there's any questions that you'd like to ask, just comment to my post at via Facebook. And I hope you enjoyed the video tutorial. <laughs> Until then, see you guys.